For this slider, we have a really nice big full screen image. Uh, when you hover on previous and next, there's a single color change and also uh, the numbers one to six, however many slides you have. And then on social media, we have a single color change. From our experience in web development, when you do a big slider such as this, where you have full screen images, the best results normally come from keeping your text and your front part of your screens white. Uh, obviously a white image you can't see anything so in most cases your images will be uh, full color or black and white or however you do them so uh, we would suggest that you stick with with white for the contact us white for the text everything else and just make a small adjustment to to this little color here the purple there and the hover color and the social media icon so uh, this would keep it simple this would allow you to add images in the background however many you want and still have a really nice clear effect that's visible no matter what images you put in the background so let's go and have a look let's see we've looked for the circle tween slider in our master css color changer we're just going to go with a bright green color uh, and then the previous and next hover color, there it's indicated, so we can just change that. Then the slider counter, we're going to change that one as well. And then the second one there. And then we've got the social media icon hover color. Let's change that. Let's open this, copy it, and then we can paste it into our custom CSS box for the page. Then we're going to save, let's update and let's have a quick look. Let's wait for it to load. There we go. So that's changed to green and the social media icons have changed as well. Now we can update the content. We'll show you. So these images are big and full screen. So 1920 by 1010. Uh, let's open one of those and then you'll see you can update them over here. Let's click open one of these. Then, of course, you can update the text over there. You have some nice description for the images. And I believe that's it for this one. Uh, these are fairly simple. So you're just going to click add new slide and off you go. Um, let's see what else there is. We can close this one down. Then there's a social media icon. So let's open that one quickly. Uh, there's a funny little quirk uh, that happens inside Divi. Whenever you add a social media icon link, uh, you, you link out the URL uh, or you add a new social media account, it defaults automatically to the um, default color that comes with it. So in Facebook's instance, it would be the Facebook color. And uh, in uh, Twitter, it would be the quit Twitter color. So what, as soon as you update the link and, or anything inside, if you open it up and you close it again, and then you save and you update the page and you reload, you'll see that the social media icons have changed to the default color here. So in order to um, stick with the original design which we had, what you have to do is when you open it, you need to go to the design, go to the chosen color, and then set the opacity completely see-through. So that would be the first one. Uh, let's do the second one quickly. I'm just gonna pause to go through them quickly. So I'm on the last one here. There, obviously, you select the account. Then we switch to design. You select the color. You make it completely see-through. And then you click the save button. Let's click save, update. And now we can reload the page. And when it loads, you'll see now it looks exactly like the design. And when we hover on it, we've got the green color behind it. So if you wanted to use the, the colors that came with it, obviously you would go to the custom CSS here. You would remove the social media icon hover color uh, and just remove that rule. And then you would have the default colors that would be there for the social media icons. So that's how you update this slider. Thanks for watching. Ciao.